Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this fella. Tara Burton, Tara Burton, Tara Brewery's Burton Strong Ale. Uh, 6% offering, packed with American Chinook hops. So let's give it a pour. So, oh yeah, I do apologise, got woke up at 4 in the morning, so I had about a 4 hours sleep. Little one comes in the bed, wakes me up, uh, and the, the days at the moment, the minute I wake up, I'm stressed, so uh, it's, you can do without it. So, dark amber, poor, white head, and uh, he woke me up, and then he's fidgeting around in the bloody bed, he comes in our bed, fidgeting around, doing me head, I'd like to get up in the end. I uh, went downstairs, my other son's downstairs. He's playing his bloody um, anime. And then the dog's walking around. I'm like, fuck, I just want to get a little bit more sleep before I go to work. Never happened. So, shattered. And I think that's why I'm tired. Although, this morning I've finally gone back on me. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> stress and anti-depression anxiety tablets just because I know that um, you know I'm not going to win on my own so which also means I've got to calm the beer right down so one or two beer reviews at the most any day and then a bit less beer at nights and the evenings as well That's got a good strength to it. Um, really get that mole, a whack of, good whack of alcohol there. It reminds me of McEwen's Champion Ale in some respects with the, just the strength. Uh, Burton on Trent has created two famous strong bear styles: the Golden Indie Pale Ale for the long journey to the British Raj, and the Amber Red Burton Ale for the booming Baltic trade. The story of IPA is well known. American brewers took it, packed it with their own powerful fruity and bitter hops and influenced contemporary British brewers to do the same. Tara Brewery is now giving Burton Ale the same treatment, an authentic pure malt beer brewed with American Chinook hops. Uh, Tara Burton Strong Ale is a traditional powerful Burton Ale flavour but with a fruity spicy, fruity citrus spicy finish to create a very Moorish modern beer. Mm. Brewed by obviously the Tower Brewery. So, if I sound a bit strange today, it's just because I'm tired. Wow. Uh, I had another go at the hot tub. I'm ready for burning it. You know, I bet we put it in the papers. Someone will buy it and be able to fix it for 10 or 20 quid. Me, tried, can't do it. Thing is, you take it somewhere, and it's liable to cost more than you know it's worth to get it fixed. No more hot tub in this year. Our hot tub days are over. Farewell, hot tub. You were good while it lasted. What I do know is, when I build my hot tub room, so we'll get another one. Is <clears throat> it won't be getting moved about. It'll be on a strong base, and uh, it will be it, it, less chance of it. Whatever happened, happened. But I suppose they get weak with bleach and that, and it and eventually something happens and it just, and they burst. I mean, that's, for it to go in two places at exactly the same time is a little bit on the weird side. How oh, that one of the neighbours has done it, the bastards. <laughs> Doubt it. You'd break your neck going into my garden at night. Luckily, I know where everything is. But uh, yeah, you'd walk it, you'd get over the fence easy enough, but you'd break your neck trying to get anywhere. It's like a death trap garden. Especially in the dark. Oh, so that is going down lovely. Um, I'm definitely getting the spicy finish. 
but the lovely malt, it's a real contemporary beer, it's very, very interesting. And I thought, I thought should I just lie on the settee, because I feel so tired. Well, should I go and do a beer with you? And, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to do a beer with you. Off asleep. So, got told in no uncertain terms today by our new manager that um, his boss, the bigger boss, um, basically they've got people on standby if we leave, and they, or they don't want us. So, that's so heartwarming. I suppose though in any company, you know, uh, you take over a, a place like where we are and um, it always pays to have somebody in reserve just in case people leave because in in inevitably people do leave. They don't like the way it's being ran or that. So, so in some ways you can understand why, what they're doing. It's going to be an interesting few weeks. Definitely. And I've just had to... I've just had to uh, pull my application for a job that I went for. It was in the Vale of Beaver, which is past Bingham, and Bingham's far enough to get to, Vale, vale of Beaver. But not only that, um, and this is the problem with a lot of jobs out there, uh, the start times for gardening is 8 o'clock in the morning, which puts you slap, bang, in the middle of rush hour, getting to work and coming home. And it is an issue because the work may be fantastic, but travelling, commuting in rush hour is a shizzle. I'd rather not do it. I'd rather work an eight hour day with no, no dinner and so I can leave half an hour earlier. That, to me, is always the better plan. Um, and most of the time, if, you, if I was working on my own on a job, Say looking after some uh, big garden complex or something, I'd have a couple of ten minute breaks, but I'd, I'd have the breaks while I'm bloody working because I'd be that happy in my job that I wouldn't need it. I mean, we've done that over the years on Nottingham City Council where, where we've had to get the plants in because you've got like a hundred thousand plants to get in and they're coming like coming at your arse. So you know, you just work like troopers and even have your break out on the bed and uh, after 10 minutes get back on it because you know you've got to break the back of it so that is a really nice um, I didn't think much when it was in the bottle it's on sale at Morrison's on a 4 for £6 pound deal um, yeah not really heard of Tower Burton Tower Brewery before obviously I've heard of Burton you know run but a very nice malty beer with that spicy citrus back end. Um, very different. Definitely getting the uh, alcohol content. That 6% really does shine through quite well. So, whoa, got the spice then. Shuffy now. Really hit me good then. Wow. So. Looking forward to a nice warm weekend. I'm looking forward to Friday night. <sighs> I don't mind telling you. Um, nice chill out weekend. Although I've got two gardens to do Saturday. And uh, and apparently a week on Sunday we're going to Alton Towers. So that's be good. We'll have street in me. So that's nice of her. Um... Just be nice to get on some roller coasters, theme park, you know, enjoy getting out there for a day. Be there all day from the start to the end and enjoy, enjoy, what you know, a day at the theme park. Because let's be fair, we all need um, some time away from mundane work. And if you've been furloughed, then you're lucky. I've not been furloughed and obviously I've had issues, shall we say. Um, and uh, the issues seem to continue. <laughs> I think you've got away from issues and then they just seem to continue. And uh, I don't know. It seems like everyone's depressed and uh, uh, 
Hey, that's life, isn't it? That's jobs for you. Life. And, uh, I think in some ways, with myself, and with anybody who suffers from any, any mental health issues, you've got to get your head right, because you may, and, and I, it's funny, I, I know this myself, when I'm working, I'm working in a safe environment, uh, on my own most of the time, I do miss working with people, I must admit, I miss, I miss a, bit, a little bit of friendly banter. Um, but where I'm working is actually a good environment, you know. But with all what's been happened, with coronavirus, all what's happened, new changes, new management, that it all has an effect, and it's surprising. And if you're already in a very low place, how much the smallest little grain can, you know, upset the apple cart, shall we say? Back to this beer, what an absolute classic little beer. Um, how many minutes have I been yakking? 11. Wow, got some really nice taste to it. Um, first time trying it, well impressed. Yeah, good strength, that's 6%. And that mixing of the malts and the, the, you know, the, the spiciness and citrus, a little into citrus, certainly the spiciness at the end. Um, makes for a very interesting beer. Um, you'd look at that in front of you, you'd think it was something like Old Speckled Den, a more traditional beer. But it's a traditional beer with, you know, there's something very different added to it. It does make for an interesting uh, drink. Well, oh. It's funny because um, it's Wednesday and yet the weeks feel at work feel so long and uh, I think in any job, any job, if every day you go to work feels like 20 hours and you're only there for 5, 8 hours, whatever, and every day is the same then. It's time to change, time to move on, maybe even a different job, you know, and, and I'm looking at that. I mean, it's funny, Last uh, two years ago when the drought was on, I was basically stuck on my own for six weeks, uh, watering um, meadow matting. So my boss at the time, who, who didn't remain a boss for very long, let's put it that way, because he was crap, um, at my old company, uh, there was a bit of a cock up with this meadow matting. Um, the per person from a certain council uh, made the areas way too big. Uh, my boss has only ordered X amount because that's what it was supposed to be. He made the areas too big. The, the first lot come, we got that damn brilliant lit in the piss pouring rain, I'm, I'm out. And uh, heavy as hell as well. It's like turf, but with wildflowers in. But it comes in such fucking massive rolls. Not like turf, where it comes in little thin rolls that you can handle. This comes in sheets like three of you are struggling to handle. And we put it down. The first lot took brilliantly. Did do well actually. But the rest of it, because of the going overboard, it didn't take. And then we had a drought. And then the, they couldn't get the order. The order came and it came in the middle of a drought. So we're putting it down in the middle of a drought. What do you do when you you do not put anything on dry soil turf you wet the soil put the turf down tamper it down and water over the top and keep watering and we did six weeks of solid watering i was up and down like a uh, prostitute's knickers in some ways yeah uh, with water obviously uh, burnt out a, a, a quad doing it because we used a quad for starters but then that, that got knackered then we used the van and we was flooding it with thousands and thousands of litres of water. And it still died. The funny thing is, it did actually, did actually come back quite good in the end. The following season, it came back okay. So it wasn't a total loss. I was never happy about it. Um, 
but um, it was a you know some jobs you take on and uh, you just don't do certain things when there's a drought. If 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 the weather says it's going to be dry for weeks on end, you don't put turf down because the amount of water you've got to use is is just cost of the water as well, especially on a meter. You know, ridiculous costs. Oh. Oh, absolutely loving that. Um, can't remember if I ended that right there. Yeah, so it did come back in the end, but what a cock up. And sometimes, if they just listened to a gardener, i.e., me, and waited, the time they needed to wait until the drought was over, until the rain started to come, they would have all, everyone would have saved loads of money. But hey, you know, you can't win them all in life. And that one pint has gone straight to my head. Um, so it's knock off time and uh, another review, another day. Um, got plenty of review stock, that's one good thing. I do intend to knock off some buying beers for a while, I think, because let's be fair, there's only so much you can drink, and uh, there needs to be um, the wall needs to shrink down a bit, and the rest of it. Until my head's back in the normal place, and I'm thinking, yeah, three, four beer reviews a day, jobs are good. And What can I say? A dark amber beer, white head, malty aroma, malt throughout, good strength in the aroma, you can smell that alcohol, and a lovely citrusy back end with a real spicy finish, it really does, when you gollop a load you really do get that, a very, very interesting beer. Um, Quality, you know, if you've never had it before, get down to Morrison's and get yourself a bottle of it. Some beers sit on the shelves and you don't know notes about them. Strong ale, uh, that always appeals to me. Um, always annoys me though when someone they put strong ale and it's 4% and you think so you're taking the piss. But, um, yeah, I've not heard of Tower Brewer before, I do apologise. You know, there's lots of breweries in the UK none of us have heard of, in Nottingham as well. Um, but yeah, really good beer, really enjoyed it. Out of five, 4.5 out of 5, absolute cracker. And that's it for this beer review. I do hope everyone's having a great time out there. Uh, if you're going on holiday, you know, keep away from Spain. Uh, Greece is pretty good. And we're, we're thinking now ourselves, will we, because our holiday's in October, so we're not far away, you know, two months isn't that long. That's a point. Okay, now I've got to take six days off, so oof. that's not going to please any future um, employer if I do get a new job. Hmm, think about that. But yeah, um, got a holiday booked in, in then. You know, it is what it is. Uh, if it gets cancelled, we'll cancel it to next May or June and go then. Not messing about. Because um, to go somewhere else, we like theme parks, we do, we, we like holidays, but we also like theme parks. Uh, my best holiday is theme parks all day long, get back in the evening, nice big uh, dinner, you know, all inclusive dinner, hit the beer, and then that's it. Watch some entertainment, not too fussed. I, I, I'm not a rowdy, you know. I like, I like, obviously like my beer and wine and whatnot. You know, you may have noticed. Um, but um, I'm not one for the rowdiness. You know, but half the time you don't know anybody when you go on bloody holiday anyway, so you can't have a good crack. You might meet the odd family, all right. And uh, there was some on Estival Park's page that we liked. Got there, realised what they were, and thought, "Fuck that! I'm not going anywhere near them." You know, the proper doldossers that uh, really, they want nice people. 
and yet they sounded great. You know, it's funny how people sound great on the internet. Then you meet them and think, oh God, you know, it's, it's one of them in life, I suppose. All right, that's it for this pair of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, but again, it's a plateau. It seems to go up a few by a few. All of a sudden, it, it goes up and then it dies back down, up, down, up, down. But hey, -oh, you know, whatever it is, it is. Um, it gives me a bit more time to save up 37 quid to get a, the world's strongest beer because that's the review when we're at a thousand. And Google let me do a live review. God help them. Um, I'll get shut down. Me on a live review. Being able to spill the beans about certain things. Ah, oh, dear. I'll be in court. Sued. But if it's truth, then does it really matter? Then and it's not slander, is it? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.